Tasting high-quality meat at an unbeatable price. Two pounds of salmon free, $20 off your first box, butcherbox.com slash herd. By the way, you know why my wife's vegan? You know why I'm never going to become a vegan? Because of how happy... Because meat tastes good? Meat tastes delicious. And how happy I was when ButcherBox sent me that thing and I opened the freezer and I had ribeye steaks and salmon. I, that's the happiest I've been. And I was like, there's no point in being a vegan. I never feel that way with rice. Oh, I love rice. That's fine, but I don't get excited for it. I saw that butcher box food. I was just like, <laughs> oh, my God, it's the happiest I've been. I do like a good vegetable, but when it's paired yeah. with a nice meat. I like a good vegetable over there on somebody else's plate. <laughs> I like sockeye salmon on my plate. All right. And by the way, we're going to play a game now where there's. it's really unfair. We spent a lot of time on production. Uh, roll the tape. It's time for a game where we ask Colin questions and the correct answers are whichever answers he chooses. Prepare to play the most unfair game ever created, Pop Quiz. All right, here we go. Sports questions. Ask him, John. All right. The Patriots made the Super Bowl Again. because yeah. A, they are smarter than everybody. B, the AFC is weak. Or C, they found a new way to cheat and nobody has detected it yet. Mm. Uh, I think the AFC was actually more talented top to bottom than the NFC this year. I think the Chargers and the Steelers and the Chiefs and Baltimore have really good rosters. Let me just ask you this. Tell me another organization that James White would have 15 catches in one game as a running back. Folks, the entire league has gone one way with vertical deep passing. They've gone the other. No deep threat. No vertical passing, run-centric. The answer is, of course, A, as Chris Sims just said, they work harder and they're smarter than everybody. Since you created the game, I guess that is correct. Yeah. Okay, next one. The AFC team most likely to end the Patriots dynasty is A, the Chiefs, B, the Chargers, C, the Colts, or D, nobody stands a chance in hell. Let's think about the final four teams. The Rams drafted well. They drafted Goff. They drafted Gurley. They drafted Aaron Donald. Let's think of the Patriots. Uh, they have drafted well, not done free agents. Uh, let's think about Kansas City. Did you know who Tyreek Hill was? Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, D. Ford. And let's look at the Saints. Mickey Loomis two years ago had a draft where like eight guys all played. The front office is the key to this sport. Quarterback in front office. The Colts, the answer is C. They're the next dynasty. Nine draft picks, best young offensive line, over $100 million. Chris Ballard's a great GM. And by the way, Andrew Luck's second in passing touchdowns to Mahomes. I think over the next seven to eight years, I think that's the team that replaces Brady and Belichick as, as the great team going forward. Okay, let's try a tougher one. The Eagles quarterback next season should be A, Carson Wentz, B, Nick Foles, or C, I literally have no idea. It's that confusing. Carson Wentz was on his way to an MVP. He was 16 and 8. Let's not make this out to be Nick Foles is 10 and 3 and Carson Wentz is a bum. He was on his way to be an MVP. Now, there's a story that he's a little selfish. Guess what? I've heard that about Cam and Aaron Rodgers. When you're gifted, when you're gifted, you tend to be a little less reliant on coaching and more reliant on yourself. And that is something to work on. But Carson Wentz is the future. Have somebody overpay for Nick Foles. Okay, to the NBA. This season, the Lakers are looking like A, a playoff team, B, a non-playoff team, C, the Clippers. It's actually the Clippers. They both have 25 wins, lots of injuries, and both need another star to be a formidable playoff team. The Clippers need Kawhi Leonard. I think they'll get him. And the Lakers need Anthony Davis. My gut feeling is they get him. I've watched both the Lakers and the Clippers this year. And when you watch the Lakers and the Clippers, one thing is clear. They've got a lot of guys that get hurt. Right now, they're a 7-8 seed best. I think both their head coaches are fine, former players. But they're 25 with teams, injuries, not a lot of difference makers, and need another star. All right, our final pop quiz question. Russell Westbrook needs to... A, take fewer shots, B, stop shooting entirely, or C, watch the herd every day for helpful advice. You know, that, I would generally say that's a great idea for America. Uh, but uh, this one, it's take fewer shots. Listen, 
It's not that Russell Westbrook should just be a decoy, but he's clearly a broken player. His free throw percentage last two years from 83 to 64. He's shooting 24% from three-point land. And when he takes 19 or more shots, they're sub 500. When he takes 18 or fewer, they're 13 and two. So the point is, you want shots from Westbrook. You want dynamic playmaking ability. But there are lines analytically that he shouldn't cross. And this team tends to be better when he shoots somewhere between about 14 and 18 times. That has been our revolutionary. This has been Pop Quiz. There wasn't much production value in that, but I did get to a bunch of topics I wanted to talk about. I think about. we nailed it. it. Took a lot of time to come up with the name for that segment. Yeah, I mean, we we went to a marketing uh, company and you know we did some uh, market research, and that's what we came up with uh, pop quiz. Uh, so, car shopping's confusing. There's a lot of terms out there: dealer price, list price, invoice. Here's what's not: go to TrueCar.com, save three grand off MSRP. I just met the CEO of TrueCar the other night at dinner. Very nice guy. Very techy. One of those techie guys. He had all the answers to everything in the entire world. I want to thank Nick Wright, Eric Mangini, TJ Hushmanzada, and Chris Sims. Boy, Mangini and Chris Sims having worked with the Patriots, what an advantage they were today. They both have some insight that is fascinating on the way New England works.